What up boys, so it's time for the next project on the Z4 and it's already snowed a few times here in Wisconsin so it's time to start these winter projects on the Z4 one of which is refinishing the wheels that are the Style 42's I'm, this is going to take quite a while for you guys it'll be one video but for me it's going to be many different days and the reason that it's going to take so long is because it's just going to be a lot of steps that um, can't be done in one day such as getting the tires off the wheels and that's not too much of a big deal because I'm going to be upgrading wheel size so I don't want the tires that are on there right now and since they're two piece I have to take them apart and go through all of that so I'll take you guys along with me and eventually what's going to happen is I'm going to repaint the barrels uh, the faces and I already bought new hardware so the OE spec hardware for BBS I already got that to replace the old bolts and what we're going to be doing is polishing the lips as well. Right now I just jacked up the front end of the Z4, so I still have to jack up the rear end, put it on the jack stands, and just get a start on the process today. So there's a good look at the wheels a little before. Um, they're not too bad. There's just a lot of opportunity for these to look better, which is hopefully what's gonna happen. And uh, I'm still trying to trace down some real PBS center caps that'll fit in here. These are just off of Amazon, which sucks, but they still look pretty good. I'm calling myself out here a little bit. No! But hopefully at the end of this, these turn out extra spicy. You can tell how bad these lips are right now too but like I said the next step is going to be removing these tires there's still a lot of tread on these so maybe I'll try to sell them to somebody that needs them as drift tires or something who knows somebody could probably use these they're still like seven or eight thirty seconds and this is like a 215 245 staggered setup the next step is going to be removing these tires all right, here we go. So pretty simple, as you see, that didn't take very long, like a second, <laughs> just kidding. But the next step is going to be to spray these bolts with uh, penetrant. So I'm going to be removing all the hardware off of all four wheels. And I'm just gonna show you guys me doing one of the wheels and then I'll do the others off camera, but I'm gonna make sure that they soak and then take them off one by one. So for any of you guys that are doing your wheels, it's actually not too bad. It's just a lot of taking your time and rust penetrant is gonna be your best friend. So make sure you actually let it sit for a while. So I let all the bolts sit in that penetrant for half an hour and then I came back and zipped them all out. So the only time, as you guys saw in that little clip on that wheel, I did start going way too fast and I only stripped one bolt. So out of all of those, I only stripped one and that was because I was going way too fast. And then for the other ones, I actually went ahead and took off the faces on those ones. So again, I went around the edge with rust penetrant and waited another half an hour and then just basically pounded it with the uh, rubber mallet and just stomping on it with my foot. Got those out. So those were able to come out that way pretty easily. Um, so I just have this wheel left and I'm trying to do different things to try to get that last bolt out. I'm trying to drill into it, but my drill sucks. It's kind of 
not even really supposed to be a drill so i'm trying to make it into a drill um just to use an extractor to get that bolt out but it i believe that the bolts that bbs use are titanium bolts so it's making it a lot harder so it's been over two weeks all the wheels are powder coated i was finally able to take that last bolt out uh, so a buddy and I, we just ended up drilling that bolt out and getting it out. I took the wheels over to another guy and he stripped the lips, powder coated all the wheels. Uh, so the only thing that was left was the lip part of the wheel. The cool part about this is that because he left the lips bare metal and stripped them for me when he was powder coating, is that it's going to be a lot easier for me to polish the lips. So if you look at this one where I already started a little bit, it's already coming along pretty nicely. It's obviously going to be a lot better. I barely have touched this barrel. For you guys that aren't stripping the lips, you're going to have to get some special paint stripper that you have to put down and then peel the clear coat and then start sanding from 300 all the way to 3000. So yeah, the benefit of having these powder coated and someone knowing what they're doing, uh, you get a little bit of a head start. But I'm not going to really do too much of a time lapse on this just because I want to get going on these and I'm sure you guys don't want to see the grueling process because it's still going to be a lot of work. But once I have them all done and polished, I'll show you guys and then I'm also going to be putting them together, bolting them back up using Loctite on the bolts uh, just to make sure they don't vibrate out um, just to be extra careful. But you see tape on this one, uh, that's because I marked that this one has a bent lip. So I can't really take care of that yet anyways. I have to get all the wheels put together and done and then they can fix the lip on this one. It's just really, really slight, but it's enough to leak air. So yeah, we'll see how they look when they're all polished and ready to go. So let's get to it. So after being on my knees for like five minutes and and doing the sanding and polishing i thought of a better idea so i got this nice setup here so i ended up stacking three of my old wheels and then kind of using it as a table with this other uh, blanket that i had i'm on my last one right now and everything has been going pretty smoothly those are upside down so don't mind those but those are done uh, all the way up to uh, needing to be polished so i was going through and just sanding all of them at first and then doing my final round of, of polishing especially because I want to get them cleaned. So as you can see, they get really dirty once you start wet sanding. So you want to make sure that you clean them once you're done sanding before you start uh, polishing. You can really see here the wet sanding on this one. So this one's not polished yet, but you can see what step I'm basically on. Yeah, just make sure that you use a flexible pad here. So then it does flex and move with the contour of the lip. So that made it a lot easier to use this. And I will put the link to this kit, this sanding kit on Amazon in the description. So you can see all the grits that I have all the way up to 3000. I'm actually going to go ahead and hit this one with another 3000 and see where I end up. But I'll update you guys once I have these polished. They're all put back together and bolted and torqued. So here they all are. There's the bent one. And I do have a couple tips or a few tips. Two of them are for just putting these together. And one tip is for those who are doing two piece wheels. So you can see the mirror finish isn't quite there yet, but I'm still gonna work on the polish. I just wanted to put them back together. Either way, I'm gonna get the surface area that's actually gonna be shown and I might do it on the car. There are still some other ways that I'm thinking of to polish these a lot easier, but they look good for now. So the first tip is, so the holes that these bolts go into, because this is a two piece, there is no exit hole. So the bolt goes into the barrel. So anything that you were sanding is going to pile up in those holes. So you wanna make sure to blow those out and make sure that everything is dry. And then also use a wire brush to clean it out or else you're just gonna really mess up those threads or cross thread your bolt. 
Uh, and that can really ruin the whole project right there. So make sure those holes are clean and dry. So that was kind of two tips in one because you want to make sure that the surface that the face is going onto is dry and clean and same with the holes. The third tip is also just to take your time, which is kind of obvious, but some people, especially when you got four wheels to do, you start to think that you have it down and then you're going too quick and then you make a big mistake. And I did that when I was taking the bolts out. So just take your time and then also torque these down to 22 foot pounds is what I have all of these torqued down to. So at first when I, was putting these bolts in, I did it hand tight, and then I went around and torqued them. But I did the first four kind of opposite to each other, just being extra careful. So I torqued them uh, like you would torque a wheel onto the car. But then the rest, I just went along and uh, didn't really follow a pattern or anything. And then I did use Loctite on these. So just to make sure, I think I said that earlier too, that I was gonna use Loctite, but yeah. The outcome's not too bad. Like I said, it's not a mirror finish quite yet. It still looks good like a brush aluminum look right now, but I'm still gonna work on the polishing a little bit more and then take this wheel to fix the bend in that one. All right, so there they are all mounted and balanced. And obviously I'm gonna clean up the sidewall with some tire cleaner. Also gonna go through the wheels and give them another deep cleaning. So I decided to just put all the wheels back on the car just to get a look of the set of wheels on the car itself. Uh, but I do have them on wood blocks, so it's still going to give you a good look. I just am planning on doing a transmission service soon here. So well, that's why the car is on those blocks, but here we go. All right, so yeah, those those are the wood blocks right there uh, just to get the car up higher uh, for when I do that transmission service. But it still has a little bit to settle. So as you see right now, there's still some wheel gap on there. Same with the rear. And then if I go to the other side, not much different, but get another angle. So yeah, I want to do a rundown of the whole job here real quick and I'll make sure to put this down in the comments just uh, for any of you that want to skip to the end of the video and just kind of see what you're going to be running into before you even start this. And this will be mainly for these two piece or even three piece wheels. So the first thing that I really uh, should have done is basically before even dismounting the barrels from the face and unbolting anything. I should have really taken these wheels to an alloy repair shop. Someone that just knows a lot about these wheels and, and has the proper machine to go ahead and check the wheels for bends and cracks and anything of that sort. And the reason that is, is because when they fix those bends or if they find any bends, uh, the machine does scuff up the wheel pretty bad when they go ahead and fix that bend. So you wanna do that first and then go ahead and unbolt the wheels and do what you need to do and follow the steps that I did. If, if you wanna approach this project the way that I did, and I was trying to mainly do the most cost-effective way. Uh, so there are other ways that you can do this and uh, it just depends how much you care about the wheels. So you can go ahead and rattle can the wheels and use that as paint and then you don't have to take it to get powder coated. But then you also have to worry about sanding the wheel, the entire wheel down by hand or however else you would do it. And that's just another hassle. So that is why I chose to get it professionally done. So 
uh, they took a sandblaster to the wheels and uh, powder coated them. So that was one regret that I did have because I ended up taking the wheels and one, one of my wheels that was bent needed to be repaired and it did end up leaving a scuff. It wasn't too bad, but um, just something for you guys because you never know, you might as well get all your wheels checked for bends because if they do find any more, they can fix them then and there. And then moving on to uh, the step after, after you get the wheels powder coated and put back together and you wanna go after that polished lip look, do keep in mind that it takes forever and you, you have to go through sanding and sanding and sanding and then polishing to get that mirror finish. And so it does take a lot of time and sometimes it is best to do that uh, in a professional manner and it just depends on what you're after. So if you're looking to get your vehicle to that show car level, then definitely get somebody or put in the time to polish those lips. But yeah, I hope that it, I can help you guys with all the little things that I ran into and some of the things that I did will help you be cautious of what you will run into when taking these wheels apart and bolting them back together. But I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.